Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adab, sasriyakal, assalamu alaikum, bada comment, khamma gani to all of you. Welcome to today's session and today is a session in which we'll be studying 10 rule of learning maths scientifically, right? So in this we'll be discussing 10 rules uh, which will help you uh, in understanding the maths more easily, right? So what are those first thing? Is maths cannot be taught. What, what do I mean by this is like, it's not like other subject where you just sit and watch teacher explaining, see the solution, you'll understand it. It's not like that. It needs practice, right? So it needs your own uh, efforts as well. So my advice to all my students is whenever you are studying math, make sure you are sitting on a table, chair, you have something to write on with a rough notebook, then only you can study maths. Otherwise, just going through the notes is not a good idea, right? Then it's happen it happens in the, head, uh, in the head. What does it mean? Like simply uh, say when you are when you're going through your uh, paper, you know, so when you're when you're uh, writing something, you know, uh, doing the calculation, it is very important to understand it as well. Okay, maths is not about just mugging the formula and putting the values and getting the answer. That is only up to say grade three or grade four. But after that, you need to understand the concept. You need to make sure that different questions can be solved in different ways. Uh, whenever a new type of question is coming in front of you, if you have this logical thinking where you think about the problem and see different ways of solving it, then only you'll start enjoying the maths and you'll enjoy the new type of problems. Right. So you might have seen that when students are more interested in maths, they'll keep telling teacher, sir, tell us any new types of problem as well. Is there any other type of problem? Give us a new type of problem. Right. Whereas the other students, they'll be those who are not interested. What they'll do, they'll keep on noting down the formula, remembering the formula, putting the value. So that is like, okay, one or twice is enough, but you need to understand the concept and understand how to apply it. Right. It also requires a lot of practice. So practice makes a man perfect and that is definitely true for maths right also get your basics strong guys because maths is all connected whatever you have studied say in grade six you started with algebra and a linear equations you started that again continued in grade seventh in grade seven you took it to a, a level up in grade eight you took it one level up you studied polynomials you uh, studied about uh, say different types of polynomials uh, linear equation you studied in detail in grade 9th you studied about quadratic equations as well uh, you you studied what are the different ways factor theorem you study so all these things are connected right so whatever you are studying in your previous grades will be useful in your next grade so the only way to understand uh, only way over over here will be that just mugging up the formulas will not suffice you need to understand the concept so that you can apply in the upcoming grades as well right uh, construct relationship what does it mean Ki try to get some relationship between uh, the mathematics right what is the meaning coming over here for example when you see trigonometry try to understand that why trigonometry works the similarity topic you have just understood how do we connect similarity with trigonometry remember i have told you like in two right angle triangles one right angle is fixed and if i fix the other acute angle also the two triangles are always similar and that is why ratio become fixed and from the trigonometry we start so you are connecting the topics connecting the dots you know sometimes a question may be there in which a linear equation to variable question but trigonometric variables are there so understand the different topics and see they can be related as well a question of maths can have can ask you more than one or two uh, say concepts right analyze and understand every mistake it is very important to understand the mistakes which you are doing while solving a question and if it if a mistake is repeating again and again it is very important to analyze why you are making that mistake a particular type of sum you are always making it wrong focus on it in which step you are going wrong if you're making silly mistakes make yourself aware of it that okay this is the kind of silly mistakes which you make every time say for example in geometry you are not reading question carefully and most of the time you take diameter value as radius value so now consciously tell yourself that whenever i'll see a geometric question including circle 
I'll read it twice that whether it is radius or diameter given. So in that way, it's, it reduces your scope of making mistakes, right? Get help fast. What does it mean? Ki yaar, suppose if you are facing difficulty or if you are not able to understand the previous concept, you can take the help of your teacher. You can take the help of your friends. You can take the help of your parents, your siblings, anyone. But take help. Don't uh, shy away from it. Right? Everybody faces problems in maths nowadays. Okay, so don't shy away from it. Understanding the question. Many students have this habit that whenever they see a question, they'll start solving it without even thinking what the question is asking. Okay, so it is very important to first understand the problem, especially the application problems, uh, where you have to think that which formula to apply for surface area and volume question, guys. You know all the formulas, you have mugged down all the formulas, but when you study a problem of surface area and volume, you need to understand which formula will be applied over here. Now, sometimes they make the concept also in such a way that directly formula doesn't work. Sometimes you have to consider the surf curve surface area plus the area of base. These kind of uh, situations are there. So understand the question, what is the demand of question and how do you reach to the solution? All right. And when you read a question carefully, guys, like you'll definitely get the idea that how to proceed and eventually you'll unable, you'll be able to solve it. Okay. Uh, also solve different types of questions from a particular topic. Uh, see, go through the different types of books, where are there and online internet also you can check different types of problems, solve that so that it will uh, increase your understanding and also make you more confident about the topic. All right. And just chunk your problem means what? Ki bhi suppose, <coughs> say uh, you're practicing a proper uh, solution to any problem. Take care. So when you have solved a problem, you're facing some difficulty, see how the teacher has solved it and rehearse that again. Right. So once you rehearse, like revise the problem on your own, you do the solution on your own, it, it, it becomes like you, you will be able to understand that in more detail. Okay? You'll be able to understand each and every step of it. And then the same type of problem, it comes in your exam. It, it will not going to be any problem for you, for you. So guys, maths preparation, that is I'm telling you, you need to start early so that you can solve all the types of problems with your like by your own and not just going through the notes you have to solve the problems on your own and then only that habit of solving the problems will make you feel confident your exams you are going to rock right so yes these are the 10 habits like 10 rules for studying maths uh, most of them the gist of it would be that practice it do solve the problems on your own all the topics are all connected so make sure your basics are strong all right and under read the question carefully uh, practice as many problems as you can different types of problems try to practice just mugging the formula is not it you need to understand what question is asking what is the demand of the question so these are some of the rules which will definitely help you understand the maths better all right and also for any other guidance you can register for vedantus pro courses link is in the description box of this video as well as in the pin coupon uh, as well as in the pinned comment coupon code is gp pro to get 10 percentage of flat 10 percentage of on the prices all right guys so this is all in today's class thank you so much for joining please don't forget to like this video share the video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you are new here thank you so much i will see you all in the next class till then bye bye sayonara khuda to all of you bye bye guys